The program for this evening is not new. You have seen this entertainment through and through. You've seen your birth, your life and death. You might recall all of the rest. Did you have a good world when you died? Enough to base a movie on? White is out here. And I want to talk about The Doors. Directed by Oliver Stone. Made in 1991. This movie pretty much introduced me to the band The Doors, and I have been a huge fan of that band ever since. Val Kilmer is Jim Morrison in uh, probably his second best performance of all time. You guys know what the first one is. (laughs) And um, he just rules in this, man. He really takes the character and goes off with it. Um, The movie is really fantastic, too. Um, People get lost in just Val Kilmer's performance, which I could see why. But the cast is very good as well. Meg Ryan, who plays Pan, does a good job in this. Kind of funny because the real-life version of Pam was very much kind of squarish. I don't think she was as hippy-dippy as they portray her in this movie. Kyle McLaughlin as uh, Raymond Zarek. Frank Whaley as Robbie Krieger. And Kevin Dillon as John Desmore. Uh, these guys do a really good job, too. Um, they're the, they're side carries. The movie is very much about Jim. But um, these guys do a really good job, and... When they're in the scenes with Jim, they very much are commanding presence there. You you don't just, like, dismiss them. They're really good in this. Um, I like um, how they start off as a very close unit, and by the end, they are very much ready to go their separate ways, you can tell. Uh, we also have Michael Wincott as uh, Paul Rothschild, which is really cool. I love this guy. I think he's just one of the most underrated actors of his generation, for sure. We also get Michael Mancini in an early film, and uh, he's hilarious. He plays a porn star that just hangs out with Jim all the time. And um, funny enough, we actually get Billy Idol, and I'm pretty sure Billy Idol was actually meant to be Jim Morrison. And um, it would have been interesting. He does a good job in this. For the few minutes he's in it, I like him. He's funny. We also have Kathleen Quinlan as Patricia. Um, She's Jim's uh, second wife in this movie. Even though he really doesn't, I don't know if he takes her as seriously as Pam, pretty much. We also have Crispin Glover as um, Andy Warhol. That's pretty funny to see him. also like to mention Richard Rotowski, who um, played Death. He's in pretty much every single scene with Jim. It's really cool. My favorite scene is when Jim is in the crowd singing Break On Through. You can see him right behind him the whole time dancing away with him. The music is a lot of classic door songs, really good ones. And also we get the Velvet Underground. We get Venus and Furs and Heroin. Very good songs. I mean, if you haven't heard these ones, I mean, you should check them out. They're pretty intense, but I think you'd like them. Oliver Stone's main motivation for making this film is it's his favorite band. He actually discovered them while he was serving in Vietnam. Uh, Pretty crazy stuff. I mean, you're over there in Vietnam, and then you hear the doors break on through for the first time. I mean, that's definitely got to be a pretty trippy experience also real quick thing we get um two of the real people in this movie we get the real paul a rothschild he's actually in the whiskey a go-go with the crazy hair and glasses and we also get the real patricia jim's uh, second wife she's actually performing the ceremony the doors is a great movie i mean it's one of the great rock and roll biopics of all time i think it's definitely the gold standard in Val Kimmer's performance as Jim Morrison is definitely legendary. It's um, a great movie, and they're also a great band. Um, it sucks that we lost Jim Morrison, but hey, we still get the great music that he left behind. Take us into the severed garden. You know how pale and wanton and thrillful comes death in a strange hour, unannounced, unplanned for, like a scaring, over-friendly guest you've brought to bed. Death makes angels of us all and gives us wings where we had shoulders smooth as raven's claws. This other kingdom seems by far the best Until its other jaw reveals incest And loose obedience to a vegetable law I 
will not go. Prefer a feast of friends to the giant family.